See Lindelof videos. Lines perpendicular to a function on the AP free response. So here's that exam, and this is the question I want to talk about now is question C. Question C says, this reads so badly that it just even bothered me for a second as I read it. It says, there is a point P on the graph of F at which the line tangent to the graph of F is perpendicular to the graph of G. Find the coordinates of that. It's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Well, the first thing I did is so the line is going to be perpendicular to the graph of G. Well, if you look at the graph of G, the graph of G is G of X is equal to 6 minus X. So G prime at X, this is really important, G prime at X is equal to negative 1. This is really, really important. G prime at X is equal to negative 1. So let's go over here and look at this for a second. So if G prime at X, the slope of G of, of G of X is always negative 1. Remember that a perpendicular line has the opposite reciprocal slope. So we look at it this way and say, okay, it's negative 1, go, negative 1 over 1. So the opposite reciprocal of that would be, so it's the perpendicular slope would be would be 1 over 1, sorry, 1 over 1, not negative but positive. So our so the slope we're looking for is a slope of one. You're like, okay, how does that help me? Well, we also they also gave us that f of x, that f of x is equal to square root x. We can look at this as square root x as x to the one half. We can say that f prime at x then would be equal to, and I'm not going to do this differentiation for you. I know that you can do this. Is one over two square roots of x. So what we want to know now is. When is the slope of f of x, which is this, perpendicular to the slope of this? Well, the slope of this is negative 1, so its perpendicular slope will be 1, so we just set that equal to 1. I'm going to do 1 over 1, if you don't mind. I'm going to do all of my math. I'm going to do all of my math here. Uh, shall we do this? How shall we do this? We get uh, 2 square roots of x is equal to 1 square root of x is equal to 1 half, right? I'm just dividing by 2. x is equal to, remember, we're just going to use principal roots here. We would square both sides, so we would get x is equal to 1 fourth. Like, okay, x is equal to 1 fourth. What does that get me? Well, remember, if we go back to the question, the question was, find the coordinates of point P. So we have the first coordinate. The first coordinate is 1 fourth. So all I'm going to do is take f of 1 fourth, and if you take f of 1 fourth, you get the square root of 1 fourth, which is the same as the square root of 1 over the square root of 4, which of course is equal to 1 half. So that gives us the point 1 fourth, 1 half. This question is nowhere near as bad as I had anticipated, but you have to really think about it. And when they ask for perpendicular to another, to another function, Find the derivative of that function and then take the opposite reciprocal and that gives you the slope that you're looking for. So I hope this is helpful. This is something you can definitely do. You don't have to crush this exam to get a five on it. You just have to work your way through and know what kind of answers they're looking for. So what they did want was this. They wanted to see your f prime at x. So here's your f prime at x. They gave you points for that. They gave you points for setting that equal to one. So they gave you credit for setting this thing equal to that. And the last thing, they, so there were three points total, and the last point that you got out of three was for your answer. So you could get two out of three of the points that you needed without getting the correct answer. And if you think about this, you could get the correct answer and only get one of the three points. So make sure that you're studying the scoring guidelines for all the AP exams. If you need any uh, help or you have questions, let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.